Okay, so let's talk about displaying your anime figures. All right, so this video is mainly geared towards people who are just getting into figure collecting, all right? Anyone who's avid into this figure collecting business already, you probably don't need to watch this video because what we're gonna be talking about today, you probably own one of these things or you own multiple. By the way, yes, this doesn't necessarily have to be applied to figure collecting. I've seen people who collect action figures and the like use these for display cabinets for them. I've even seen one guy display a ramen bottle in one of these. Ultra Weeb. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the best display cabinet, in my opinion, for your anime figure collection. I get this question a lot on my anime room tours about what kind of display cabinets I use for my figures, and this video is basically geared towards those people. Because for a new figure collector, you know, let's say you have one or two figures at your computer desk and you're looking at them and you're like, yeah, I got two anime figures. You know, at some point in your collection, you're probably gonna have like 10 or so, and you're gonna want a dedicated display case for them because you don't want them laying around and getting dirty and everything, right? You want a dedicated space where they can be shown off and look cool when you, you know, bring your friends over. All right, so the best display case for your figure collection, in my opinion, is this thing. This is the Ikea Daytolf or Detolf, however you want to pronounce it. Legitimately, this is the most popular display case for collectors. You go into Google search and you write down figure collection or whatever, and you're probably gonna see at least a couple of dozen photos with these display cabinets because they're that popular and for good reason. They look good, entirely made out of glass for the most part. You don't see any ugly wooden bezels obstructing your view. You can go around 360 and look at the, your collection from all different angles, right? Second, is their price. These things you can pick up at Ikea for about 50 to 60 bucks, which is insanely good deal. If you wanted a glass display case, it's probably gonna be a lot more expensive than this one. Now, the only caveat to this thing is that you're gonna need to live by an Ikea. Of course, if you don't live by an Ikea, you're kind of boned. I mean, you can check to see if Ikea will actually ship this thing out to you. Unfortunately, where I live, these things don't get shipped out to me, but I live near Ikea, so you know you just go over there and grab one but for those unlucky you might not be as fortunate if you're buying this thing and you're getting it shipped out shipping is going to be a huge cost as well which kind of defeats the purpose of it being affordable right 60 dollars plus who knows how much shipping is going to be right but if you have no other options then it still might be your best option i've seen a couple of do-it-yourself ideas where people have displayed their figures in like fish tanks which is nice, but for a decent sized fish tank to display a couple of figures in, it's probably gonna cost you like 50 bucks anyways. And at that point, you might as well just get a detail. But like I said, again, you might not have an Ikea to do so. so. If you don't live near an Ikea and you can't get one of these, I'd say your best bet is probably getting like, I don't know, a bookshelf off Amazon or Walmart for like 20 bucks. I know a guy that actually did that. Unfortunately, it's not probably gonna be the best quality for you, right? Like. It's gonna let in a lot of dust, which is one of the reasons why you would wanna get one of these things, is to keep out all the dust, all right? You don't wanna have your figures fighting the dandruff battle that I know a certain Lelouch figure out there is doing right now. These things do a relatively good job at keeping out the dust. It's not completely dustproof, but you can actually make, do some modifications to make it dustproof, which I'll talk about in a little bit. All right, so I actually forgot to talk about it, but you can get these like sponge sealing brush things that you can put in the crevices of your detolf to make it less dustproof. They come in two boxes. The materials are basically just the four side panels, uh, the three inner panels for the shelving, and the two wooden pieces for the top and bottom, and the plastic rods that hold up the glass on the inside. I have personally have never run into any problems building these things until today, because I actually got a, two additional details if you follow me on Twitter. By the way, don't follow me on Twitter if you're like under 18, because Twitter feels the need to air out a lot of the not safe for work stuff I like. I warned you. I ran into a manufacturing defect i'm gonna say it's a manufacturing defect right i'm not gonna blame it on me because i've built five of these things total now and the uh, the other four are completely fine this one ran into a problem with the door all right so for an ikea detolf you'll have two stoppers for the door right one stopper at the top one stopper at the bottom the problem with this detolf is that the door would hit the bottom stopper before it would hit the top stopper so the door would close on the bottom but at the top it would leave a huge gap which is terrible, right? So my solution to this was to remove the bottom stopper so that the door could close all the way to the top stopper. So yeah, it looks like this now with the hole there. Uh, I don't know exactly what I did wrong because I built it the same way as I built the other ones. And even the fifth one that I built after this one turned out completely fine. You're probably not gonna run into manufacturing defects like this. Although I, I Google searched it and a couple of people have actually run into the same issue, which is weird. But yeah, hopefully you don't. But if you do, RIP. Oh yeah, these detolfs also serve as a sort of tier list. 
goes from the top from figures you really love to the bottom where to figures you're like, why the hell did I even buy this thing? All right, I'm just kidding. But if you do display any of your figures on the bottom without any additional height support for your detolfs, uh, you probably don't like the figures on the bottom too much. Personally for me, I've opted out to use the bottom shelf of a detolf for Nendroid boxes and other figure boxes that I can fit in there because I'm not gonna put figures on the bottom because I have to crouch all the way down to look at those figures. I've seen a couple of other people use Ikea furniture like the Besta to prop up two detolfs on top of it so that they can display stuff on the bottom without crouching down. That might be a good option for you, consider it if you want to. That's pretty much all I wanted to say because people always ask me about these things and I basically just made this video to answer that question, all right? So for the upcoming room tour for 2021, this, this video was made in preparation for that so people don't have to ask and I can just link them this video. But I guess we can talk about a little custom modifications that you can do to your detolf to make it a little bit more customizable for you. All right, so first thing up is lighting. And a couple of other room tours and stuff you probably have seen that people have lit these things up so they can light up their collection, which is a good idea if you want to get a little bit fancy. Now, there's a couple of different ways to light these details, right? IKEA themselves actually sell their own dome lights that can be installed on the top. And that pretty much only lights the top shelf the best while as, as you go down below, it gets darker. So I opt out for the other alternative, which is LED strips. Now, there's only two LED strips that I've actually used. I've used IKEA's own RGB deodor lights, and then I've used some basic LED strips that I got off Amazon, which are the ones I'm currently using right now. So the IKEA deodor lights, for anyone who's thinking to buy them for your detail, pretty much one big issue with those things. The main problem with the IKEA deodor strip lights is that they all have to be connected to this central hub, right? And the main problem with that is that all the cables are super short. So the cable management has to be done inside the case because they all have to connect to the central hub. And if you don't connect them all to the central hub inside the case, you're not gonna be able to get the strip lights to reach as far as the top and then as far as the bottom. You can go back to my previous room tours and see how I, I lit up my DDoS before with those deodor lights and it's not pretty, all right? Especially with a completely glass uh, case like this, you're gonna see your wires no matter what. So back in like 2018, I wanna say, I actually removed those deodor lights and I stripped them out and put in some Amazon LEDs that I got which I actually have a pair right now that I recently just bought. I have to buy another one because my fifth detolf is not gonna go without lights either, but yeah. This is the basic LED strip I got off Amazon. It's not RGB. If you really care about RGB, get RGB, but I didn't, so I just got some basic ones. So this is the LED strip. 16 feet is gonna be good enough for one detolf with a little bit extra, but it's not gonna be enough for a second one. All right, so it comes with the LED strip, a little dimmer to make them bright or low dimmed and of course the power connector. The way I apply this LED strip to the detolf is I start from the bottom on one side, go all the way to the top, across the top, down to the other side. That's basically how I do it. You can do your research and find out much better alternatives for you if you really want to, but those, in my opinion, are pretty good enough. And they're bright too. Now the next detolf modification I know about is the vertical height adjustment. At one point, you're gonna want to display a figure in here, but maybe it's just a little bit too tall. For example, I have Alteria Lancer. Fantastic figure, and I've wanted to display her in a detail before, but she doesn't fit because the lance can't physically fit inside because it's too tall. This is a little modification that can help you out. You're gonna have to buy some extra equipment though, and you're gonna have to buy a set of four of these things. These are wire grip bolts. I picked up this pack on Amazon for about five bucks. That's actually kind of expensive for these things. From what I've heard, you can probably get these at like your local hardware store for a couple of cents. But I, I needed something really quick for this video, so I bought it off Amazon for like five bucks. Uh, but yeah, essentially what these serve as, they serve as extra supports for your glass sheets, right? So for example, you see how the glass is being supported by these plastic rods here? Well, these things you can attach to the plastic rods, one in each corner, and then take the glass piece and put the glass piece on these instead of the plastic rods. Essentially, you can move the glass further down to give more room for the figure, which is a pretty dope modification if you want to display, uh, you know, some taller figures. Because of course, look at all the headroom here for this fit for this slot right here. Like this figure doesn't need all that room. So you can essentially do that. These can also be used for an additional modification, which I know about, which is adding additional shelving to your detolfs. Now, of course, you're gonna have to go out and grab some extra pieces of glass for that. That could be kind of expensive, you know, if you're getting it custom made. There is a much cheaper alternative I've heard, which is to use acrylic sheets. Of course, that's not gonna look identical to the glass. So if you're really anal about that, probably just try to find and Google up some 
you know, custom glass makers out there or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I have heard that people have gone to their local Ikeas and asked them if they can actually buy the single sheets of glass for the Detolfs. Like sometimes they may have a broken return or something and the glass shelves are still intact and, you know, Ikea may sell them to you. I've heard a couple of success stories, but maybe not everyone's going to be that lucky. Personally, I've seen a couple of sellers on Etsy sell additional display uh, shelving for these things. One particular store I even saw sold acrylic sheets plus their own custom, like, support for those sheets which is pretty cool and it costed like 20 bucks per piece which is kind of expensive but for additional shelving you might think that's worth it for you and the last modification that i know of for these detolfs is the double detolf mod basically you buy two detolfs and you combine them into one detolf at that point i think i might just try to opt out for a more expensive glass display case personally i'm not handy with tools nor do I have any tools, so I can't really attempt that, but it would be nice. All right, so there you go. That is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you did, feel free to leave a like because that would be spectacular. I'm glad I'm done with this thing so I can just link people who ask about this video. Ah, yeah. Room tour 2021. Might be the next video, might be the video after that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Huge thanks to Seswat, Beast, God Usui, Cat Weiss, Ralku, Malhat, Kitsuchan, Obsessed Shadow, Tiso, Satsui, Casual Arrogance, Brandy, Hentia, and Pop Tart. Dude, what the fuck is this? Dude, dog?